I got this truck behind me and need some coolant, some antifreeze put in the system, topped off. I got this Prestone here. Let's get it filled up. All right, we got 2006 Chevy truck, Cat Eye Chevrolet. All right, so here's the coolant reservoir on these trucks. It's under the hood, right on the left side, right here, passenger side. These things are super duper easy to read. We're just gonna pop our cap off of here like this, open it up, get in here. Now, to read these, you see this seam right down in here? See that crack right there? That seam is your full mark right there. So you just have to keep the coolant level right there. So for these trucks, always get pressed down. Uh, make sure it's orange. Don't use the green antifreeze on these trucks. GM, Dex Cool is what you wanna use. It doesn't have to be this brand, but you know, orange for these trucks, they say it lasts five years, something like that. Say like 100,000 miles. You know, I never really had a problem with antifreeze going bad, but what I have a problem with is it leaking on these older trucks. It always leaks. Antifreeze doesn't really ever go bad. It just disappears. So right here, okay, five years, 150,000 miles. So they say it goes longer than 100,000 miles. That's good to know, but like I said, you know, it doesn't go bad. It just leaks on these older trucks. 06, leaks all over the place. You gotta get in there, find them. So I got some jugs right here. Always use distilled water. We got distilled water right here. And then I have an empty jug right here. That's how I like to mix it up. All right, so to get it mixed up, got it right here. I just pour it in here like that. It is red in color. So I just fill the jug up, you know, keep coming back and I get the right amount in here. Then I come back with the water. So how do y'all do this? You know, milk jug, not the most precise measuring tool. Is it good enough for 50-50? Probably gonna create some controversy. I've been doing it this way for years, hadn't had any problems, you know. Some guys will say 60-40, you know, they get super scientific with the coolant ratio. I'm like, bro, just mix it 50-50, you know. You can use a graduated cylinder, you can use a beaker, you can use a Pyrex measuring cup, you can use whatever you want to make sure it's 50-50. But I like to do it this way and just mix it up by eye. So let me know down below how y'all like to mix your antifreeze, your coolant, or do you just buy ready to use? I hope not. All right, there we go. So what I do is normally mark it, you know, half here, that's 50, come up with some water to meet our line. We got 50, 50 mix. So we get some distilled water in here. We always use distilled water when we do this for the radiator. There we go, we're getting it mixed up. Shake it up, get it mixed up, 50-50. All right, so I go get me a jug of distilled water, get a couple of them, grab them from the store when I'm getting the antifreeze. So I get the concentrate that's not mixed. It's a much better deal if you get the pure concentrate antifreeze coolant, mix it up yourself, get me a couple jugs of distilled water, it's cheap. We don't want purified water, we don't want tap water, we don't want any of that stuff. Distilled water is what you're gonna use. Use anything else but distilled water, you're gonna get all kinds of minerals in there, calcium, all kinds of stuff, clogs up the radiator, gets gunked up in those fins inside there, and then you got problems. We always use pure water. But obviously, you know, you can't use pure water to cool because it'll corrode the system here and it'll freeze, so you gotta mix it up with your coolant. Now, this is pure coolant in here. See right there on the bottle says concentrate. This is concentrate. That doesn't mean focus, although I need y'all to focus because this is important. So what you're going to do is you're not going to get the RTU that's ready to use. That's already mixed in the bottle, in the jug at the store, 50-50 in the jug. Here's the deal. You get half the amount of antifreeze coolant mix unless you mix your own. Concentrate. So this is a much better deal doing it this way. 50% water, 50% coolant for these trucks. It's the ratio I use, I've always used, everybody uses, that's what I recommend. So we pour it right in there in the reservoir, just like that, get this reservoir topped off, should be good to go. There we go, our reservoir is full. See that little honeycomb in there, that waffle shape? We want it to be a little bit above that or right at that, and that way you know the coolant is full in this reservoir. Once I mix it up, you know, do what I need to do, get some in the reservoir, you know, um, I mix it all up. You can do a couple jugs, mix them up. What I do is, once this is empty, 
pour back in here, you know, and then I mark it off 50 50 mix. That way I know it's mixed. Got a good 50 50 mix. You know, once you mix it up in your jug here, you can write 50 50 on it. You know, you don't have to get super scientific with it. Half water, half coolant, you're good to go. So one gallon of the press stone here makes two gallons because you mix it 50 50. One gallon of coolant, one gallon of distilled water, and this truck is topped off. All right, so that's it for the video. Remember, when you go buy coolant for these Chevy trucks, remember Matt's shop. If the coolant isn't orange like Matt, then you don't buy it. Don't run green on these trucks, only orange. Check y'all out in the next video. Don't forget, drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Subscribe. Got more Chevy tips for you coming in the future. Later.